String 1 min cat. Given two strings, append them together, known as concatenation, and return the result. However, if the strings are different lengths, omit characters from the longest string so it is the same length as the shortest string. So hello and hi yields L-O-H-I. The strings may be any length. So let's go over the sample cases first. So here we have the case where A equals hello and B equals hi. This is the same case as the example case above. Hi is length 2. Hello is length 5. In order to make hello equal to the same length as hi, which is 2, we must remove 5 minus 2 characters from the beginning of hello. Removing the first three characters from the beginning of hello, which are these characters, yields LO. Appending LO and hi together yields this. Here we have hello and Java. Java is length 4, hello is length 5. In order to make hello length 4, we must remove 5 minus 4 characters from the beginning of hello. That is one character from the beginning of hello, which yields ELLO. Appending ELLO with Java yields this. Here we have the same strings as above, except in a different order. As you can see, the resulting strings, after modifying them based on the instructions given, are the same. Java remains untouched, like above, while hello gets the first character removed, like here. The same instructions matter, um, apply in different orderings because what we're doing is we're trying to make the longest string equal to the length of the shortest string, not A, B, something like that. As you can see, the only difference between these results is that Java is printed first, which makes sense because A is Java. We print the modified A plus the modified B. So how do we code this? So first, for simplicity of coding, we will store the lengths of A and B. So the length of A will be stored in a variable named A length, and the length of B will be stored in a variable named B length. If the length of B and the length of A are equal, then we do nothing. Else, if the length of A is greater than the length of B, we have to remove a certain amount of characters from the beginning of B, from the beginning of A. Else if the length of B um, is greater, sorry, I made a typo here, I'll just fix that real quick. If the length of B is greater than the length of A, we again have to remove a certain number of characters from the beginning of B. Finally, we remove A and B concatenated, sorry, we return A and B concatenated, which in Java is done like so. So let's go over the specific operations. As I said above, here, if alen equals blen, we do nothing. I will keep this if statement here, just so that we um, essentially have it so, um, for simplicity of argument, or simplicity of the function, but this operation, as you can see, is empty, it does nothing. So here, um, we have to remove a certain number of characters from the beginning of A. If you think about it, the number of characters we need to remove from the beginning of A is simply a line minus b line. We'll name this variable del len. Del, let's rename the variable del. This is the number of characters we need to remove from A to make A len equal to B len. So next, um, just to do a parallel argument here, del here will equal B len minus A len, and we will remove we will have to remove this amount of characters from the beginning of B because B is the longest string here. So then for both of these cases, how do we remove that number of characters from the beginning? So one way to think about it is that here, if we have a string indexed like so, actually I'll make it cleaner so you can see 
and distinguish better what each index is. So as you can see, if we get a substring starting from, um, for example, 0 all the way to the end, we remove 0 characters. Here, if we take it from 1 to the end, we remove 1 character. And as we continue doing this, we can realize that the index we are at, if we start a substring from this index onwards, we remove that index number of characters in the beginning. So applying this, we can do the same thing here. So for here, we have to remove del amount of characters from A. The way we do this is by creating a substring that starts from del. All the way to the end. Here, we have to remove del number of characters from the beginning of B. Applying a symmetrical argument as above, we do this, b dot substring, starting at del, all the way to the end. And as once we're done with this, the code is complete.